Okay, I know that I've already done two tutorials on the bridge we've created. Uh, one, I did it and then I redid it to fix it uh, issues after upgrading to the newest version of Blender. Um, but uh, Easy Gamer 689 has informed me there's an easier way to do it. And, and what he showed me is just great. It's going to make a lot of things easier. Um, so I'm going to go to our scene here. And what I'm going to do, I'm just going to delete uh, that little panel there. I'm even going to delete the bridge. Oh, I'm not going to delete the bridge. I'll just get rid of the uh, all these, all this crap. So I click on the bridge. I'm going to go to the logic editor, and I'm just going to remove all the logic we put into it. Next, I'm going to grab the pole that I had the little panel on. I'm going to shift D, and I'm going to scale on the z-axis. I'm going to scale it out a little bit. I'll go into the front view and I will rotate it and grab it there. So now we got our little panel back. It has no logic, nor does the bridge. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on the panel and we're going to say uh, when near, uh, we'll set distance to, I don't remember what I did last time, let's try three. Uh, to player, so when player gets within a distance of three units, we are going to do this. And what we're going to do is this bridge has an animation that goes up to frame 61. So we're going to select the panel and select the bridge. So shift click on each of those. And here where we have our bridge, we're going to add and make sure you're doing this under bridge, not under the cube of the panel we just created. We're going to um, IPO, we're going to make it a ping pong, and we're going to set N to 61. And then we'll connect from our cube here up to the bridge uh, little hook there. And we can even delete this little uh, panel uh, property we created, we don't need that. So you see, instead of having all those variables recreated with the properties and having it check it all, basically all we have is three things. A, when player gets close, oh, we want to add another. When player gets close and when player clicks uh, Q, we'll make our, our action key. So when player gets close and presses Q, ping pong this, so basically go back and forth between these uh, these key frames. So we're going to come up here. Uh, I'm going to hit control up arrow with the arrow uh, cursor over the screen. I'm going to hit P to start the game. Now I can walk over to this panel that we just created, recreated. I'm going to hit Q and the bridge goes out. I'm going to hit Q again. The bridge comes back in. So it's that simple. I hit Q again. Three might be a little big of a distance. Yeah, three is probably right about there. That's three. So two might be good. So anyway, that is an even easier way to do the, my first tutorial is kind of complicated. I apologize for that. There's always more than one way to do things. And I just did not know that you could um, interconnect the hooks for the different uh, different elements. Uh, so now that I know that it's going to make things a lot easier for a lot of the stuff I was going to show you, and I'm going to look back and see if I missed other things that would be easier to do this way. I'm sure there are because I did a lot of the checking the properties, checking the values of variables on other objects where I probably could have just done it this way. But now you know, and I hope you give that a try. I promise next story we're going to learn something new. Uh, last time I showed you uh, how to make the intro to the game. And next time, we are going to make a main menu for the game. So, and then we're going to start getting into uh, 2D panels for our game. So, I hope you're enjoying these tutorials. Sorry, I've been slacking a little bit. Uh, been having some issues around here and haven't had a chance to catch up. But I promise you more tutorials. And if you want to review previous tutorials, 
Uh, visit filmsbychris.com. Uh, you'll see uh, stuff for Blender there, as well as other open source uh, media tools, uh, plenty of tutorials, and more to come. That's filmsbychris.com. Thank you.